This is year two of my mom taking me and my little sister on a girl's trip. This year we went to Salem, Massachusetts, and this is going to be part one of a three-part series of our trip. Now I want to start off by saying I'm so appreciative and thankful that my parents were able to do this for us and we get to experience all these new things, whether it's baseball traveling or just traveling for fun with my mom. Our day started by getting an Uber at 6.30 to the airport and arriving at 7. My sister got McDonald's, me and my mom got Starbucks, we arrived at our gate, then we boarded the plane. The plane ride was about an hour 20 minutes, I think it was supposed to be an hour 30, but it got cut a little short. Then I've never seen apple juice in a can, so I had to show you guys. Here's us landing, and I didn't realize how foggy Salem, Massachusetts was, but honestly, it gives that spooky vibe. Then we went to baggage claim, and my suitcase got a little beat up, but you know what? That It's totally fine. Then we got on a bus to go get our rental car, and my mom has some gold pass that's really, really cool because she travels so much for work. We got to pick our car. We got this gray one right here, which actually was kind of cool. Um, I've never been in one of these cars. Then we arrived at Salem, and it was so cool seeing it for the first time in person. Like, you really don't know what it is until you see it in person. Then we were walking around, a lot of people seeing and sightseeing, a whole bunch of cool shops and like that knickknack stuff that I'm really into. Then the Witch Museum, which we didn't do on the first day, but we did on the second day. Then we just, we just walked around and checked out so many cool things. Then we went to this place and I would give it a 2 out of 10. It was okay, but I think the thing I got wasn't the greatest. Then my mom goes past us, they got three attractions with them. First was a wax museum, and at the end of this one, had this little coin thing that I haven't seen one of those since I was little. The wax museum probably took about five minutes, and then we went over to this next one. There was kind of a storytelling of how things were, very historic. But again, didn't take too long. And then we went to a haunted house, which we didn't think was haunted house. It was called Frankenstein's Castle. We thought it was going to be friendly. It was not. Then we did some shopping around, saw a lot of cool things. This candy shop was the best freaking thing ever. Then I got this ice cream, which was amazing. Then we checked out a few other shops. This one had a lot of knickknacks and stuff right here. I got backseat driving passes in there to give to some of my friends. Who am I kidding? My friends, my siblings. This had the most beautiful garden and this little book place was you take a book, you give a book. It was so cool. And they had a lot of hydrangeas, which my mom loves. Those are her absolute favorite in this really cool tree. Then we drove past Max and Danny's house. Then we went over to this area that had this little lighthouse and we were able to walk so far down onto the little ocean and there were a lot of snails and clams. It was so cool. Then we were able to check into our hotel. We made a little, you know, we made a little dent in there, got comfortable for a bit. Then we headed to dinner at Red's Tavern, had the best steak I've ever had in my entire life, played bingo while we waited and while we ate. Then we went shopping and headed back to the hotel for the night. And that was day one.